Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. What are we doing today, Harvey? We're going on the ferry. Get we your got... finger out of your nose. <laughs> yes, so, big news lately. If you didn't see yes. the live stream, we'll link it up here, but that explains what we're up to. <laughs> Why are we heading home a lot earlier than we had planned? Yeah, we weren't even going to think about going back to the North Island for at least another six months. But here we are at the ferry terminal. So, um, I'll link the live stream at the top. Go and check that out. We'll explain everything, what's going on, why we're heading back to Topo for a few weeks, say. Yeah. Maybe three weeks, maybe a month. Uh, we've got to head home. We'll, we explain all that uh, in great detail there. Um, so we thought we'd take you along for the ferry ride. I uh, don't know if you recall last time, but we lost all the footage of the last ferry trip. So. <laughs> Here is what a ferry trip with three children in a caravan looks like. Yes, we've got a family cabin this time, so oh, we can yeah. spread out a little bit yeah. and it'll hopefully be a little less stressful yeah. with the kids running around. But got our own cabin. Yeah. So we'll show you that. We'll show you how we get on and off the ferry and that sort of thing. Mm. Throw the GoPro up. It's pretty gloomy and rainy here, but um, yeah, we'll see what we can capture. Right, we made it onto the ferry. Kids got a little bit scratchy in the whole waiting uh, to, you know, to board. But we're on. Pretty easy to turn around in these ones. I guess our, ca our caravan's quite short anyway, so it turns quite nicely. Well, now we got a family cabin, like we said earlier. We have five beds in this cabin, which is pretty ideal. Um, we're probably not going to sleep, but the whole idea is we can dump our stuff. We can have a picnic in here. The kids can run right, and we're not going to hassle anyone. Um, but it does have bunks. Uh, on either side in a single bed here and it has a window which Harvey is pretty happy with oh and a toilet and shower in here which is pretty cool um, so our own toilet so yeah we did pay a bit extra around the 60 70 dollar mark uh, 60 dollars I think but for us it means you know space and not chasing kids around the main lounge area of the cabin we can chill in here take turns at going and having a break from the children and yeah just a place to make a mess so um yeah we're gonna get settled and I'll get a little bit of a time lapse out the front window as we go through the sounds to show you how beautiful the sounds are, even on a grey day. Pretty beautiful place, so we'll do that. Well, we just went down to the family room and it's shut. It's under renovation apparently. Doesn't say anything on the website which is a bit stink, so no play area for the kids. But lucky we did get a cabin because uh, we bought some toys, ton of snacks and remote control cars and the kids can go wild. Well here comes the fun part, driving down the ramp and trying not to bottom the caravan out and rip off the grey tank. <laughs> Well, 
All right, well, pretty successful ferry crossing last night. Um, we got in about six o'clock. Then the girls fell asleep on the way to this campground we're at now, which was a bit unfortunate because uh, they went to bed a lot later last night. So a bit of a late night, but hey, it's all right. Um, we stayed at the Paikokariki campground last night. I can't remember the exact name of it. It's about 45 minutes north of Wellington. And we had to stay here because we actually ran out of power in the caravan yesterday. We have had so many grey overcast days since we've been making our way back from Westport. Probably four or five in a row. Obviously no solar when you're parked deep in the ferry underneath. We just haven't been getting any solar and we've been still using the heater, you know, using everything in the caravan like normal. So we actually ran out of power for the first time in since the start of the year, since we left. So I powered site last night. Um, the lady was really nice. She just let me pull through a site, park in the middle of two sites because it was dark and couldn't bother reversing and that sort of thing. So yeah, really nice lady at reception. She said, pull right through, park wherever you like in the morning, you know, pull out the other way. So yeah, nice and easy. Um, we're going to spend the day in Wellington today. It's Chelsea's birthday. And um, yeah, just hang out here for a, the day and head north tomorrow. Happy birthday, Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you. It's the, been a good morning so far. The big 21 today, eh? <laughs> I'm yeah. sure. uh, <laughs> um, We are going to have a day in Wellington today. I know we're hustling home, but we've been traveling pretty hard out, eh? Yep, the kids are getting a bit fed up with hours in the car every day. Yeah. So. We're about 10 hours into our, um, about 500 odd kilometers into our mission home. And uh, we've got another full day at least of driving probably 400 odd kilometers 450 kilometers back to Topol so day in Wellington um what are we going to do Bronson's brother and his girlfriend live here so mm. we are going to catch up with them go out to their place for dinner tonight and yeah I'm not sure today yeah we might just mill around it's pretty miserable here yeah. Harvey uh, wants to go to an arcade so yeah. we'll see if we can make that happen I've run out of coffee beans so we'll make that happen <laughs> and uh priority one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you would have seen my brother milling around in the back of some videos in the past as well he's the pilot he lives down in Wellington we don't see them heaps eh? so it'd be no. cool to catch up with them and um, yeah we'll just chill out and then tomorrow the journey will continue home mm. the journey home will continue well it's absolutely bucketing down here in Plymouthton um, to give you a bit of a date you'll probably see this a couple weeks from now because um, I'm a little bit behind in the editing but it is the 31st of May so this is when we're having all those rain warnings down south in Canterbury. There's been some bridges washed out, some pretty crazy evacuations going on down here. Um, for those of you that have stayed at the Plymouthton NZMCA park before, behind me, I'll show you the stream next door to, to show you how much rain has come down. It is absolutely swollen. Check this out. How insane is that? The water is actually touching the bottom of that little footbridge. Um, if you've stayed here before, you've probably wandered down to the Plymouthton train station as well. Uh, there's a path there. It's five minutes to the train station. Catch the train to town. Look at this. There's no way you're walking to the train station today. I can't even see the footpath. It's underwater somewhere. And these fields, these sports grounds here, are absolutely flooded. It's pretty mind-blowing. Well, a bit of a slog home, but we are home now in Topol. Um, good few days of driving there. Now, I know at the start we were kind of a bit like, hey, watch the live stream to find out what's going on. We weren't sort of doing that to kind of make you watch the live stream. Um, you know, if you want to, thanks, but uh, it wasn't sort of clickbaity or anything like that. Um, yeah, we weren't trying to be sort of cloak and dagger about it. We just didn't know how much we could share at the time. Um, so in a nutshell, if you did watch the live stream, I'm actually recording this now. Oh, we've probably been home a week maybe 10 days um, but my father had a heart attack uh, out really out of the blue quite fit and healthy had a heart attack um, was airlifted to hospital we were way up on the west coast when we found out uh, hence the journey back and we've come back he actually had his surgery this morning it was all textbook apparently went to plan four or five hour surgery triple bypass in the end um, 
but he's doing good so yeah he's all he's fine um we just yeah just kind of wanted to explain i wasn't sort of saying Ooh, watch the live stream to find out what's going on it was more just kind of respecting his wishes and that sort of thing so all good there he's doing well um we're gonna hang out in topo for maybe a couple more weeks week and a half um, wait till dad gets home get settled at home he's obviously off work for a while just want to make sure mum's all settled got firewood lawns mown all that sort of stuff that you know just make that transition home a bit easier uh catch up with a few friends while we're here as well um the videos won't stop though we've still got a few more on the way um we got some DIY to do to the caravan, uh, a couple of projects there. I broke a, I broke the outlet hose of the waste tank, which I need to fix. So I'll take you along for that adventure. Um, also ordered a little 12 volt dehumidifier. So I'm going to do a bit of a review unboxing on that as well. So yeah, lots to come. Um, stay tuned as always. We're also going to have another live stream when you see this in a week's time on the Saturday. So make sure you check out our socials for, for that. Um, come hang out, sort of Q&A um we're going to discuss what our future plans are for july and that sort of thing so yeah come along to the live stream it's always fun to kind of connect with you guys connect with the community so thank you as always for watching uh sorry i just thought i should explain myself at the end there um and yeah really appreciate you watching all of our adventures and coming along mm -hmm.